Hey everyone, Matt Saletti back again. Today I want to actually talk to you about the new Guitar Rig 5. Absolutely amazing. Of course we know we can use it for a guitar, but I want to actually show you some of the new effects and specifically the new container module where you can just pile in all these effects and then you have just a few simple knobs or you can start just tweaking it out like crazy. So we're going to throw a, a custom container effect module on some drums and machine and uh, hopefully get you pretty excited about guitar rig. Let's take a look. All right, so the first thing I did was just load up a quick drum kit inside a machine. And so what we want to do is actually take one of the group effects modules and put in Guitar Rig 5 right on top. And let's open that thing up. So first thing we're going to look at is the individual components. Now one of the new tools is what's called the container. And remember with Guitar Rig you're just kind of dragging and dropping these things right in. So the container is basically a rack for whatever effects you want to throw in. It's going to be most similar and common to like Reason's Combinator where you're just kind of dragging the effects inside of here and then you have these easy controls uh, which are going to be mapped out to machine perfectly, for instance. So I didn't have to do anything. I pull it in, and you can see I just start turning the knobs. And so what we're going to do is just load up this really cool effects chain inside. So I'll start with something like my favorite tape echo. And you can see we can just start adjusting. Now, obviously, we're going to want these macro controls to actually contribute and work on the individual knobs inside of the effects. So easy way to do this, you can see these little handles, you can just drag and drop this to whatever you want. So let's make this one feedback. Let's make this one speed. So really easy to work with. Now one of my favorite parts is that you can get a little deeper on each control. So maybe instead we wanted the feedback to also control the speed. So let's take, uh, let's see here. We can actually have the speed adjusted in a couple different ways. We can give it a range. So only this amount of feedback. And let's have the speed go in an inverse direction, actually. So now when I turn the one knob, turn the feedback up, but it's also going to slow down the speed. So really cool you can do like that. So I mean just imagine you can start getting in here and loading up everything you want. Maybe I want one of the new filters in here. This new filter bank. <laughs> which is just amazing. Now we want to take it a step further. Let's go ahead and add some of the great modifiers from Guitar Rig. And so we can actually just have these modulate specific sounds as well. Let's get this guy about here. And we'll modulate this frequency band. And you know what then? I want a little slower one on the top. So we can come in, we'll take a, uh, let's do a nice little sign LFO. A lot of this kind of stuff we teach you in the dub spot sound design and synthesis class. How to actually manipulate effects inside of complete. So let's assign a new control here to the uh, stretch parameter. And you know, you probably want some to control dry wet, or you want some maybe just to be able to turn an effect on and off. 
So what's cool about these is you can actually even create buttons. So I know we're turning a knob, but at the same time, it's going to be on or off for the filter bank. It's a very cool option right there. Let's just mute some of these out altogether. And I want to show you one of my new favorite dynamic plugins called Transient Master. This thing is sick. It can basically totally mess up the way your transients come in. Or tighten something up real good. It's like a really smart compressor setting. Uh, basically, you're just going to kind of adjust the attack and sustain levels. And you can get from big old pumping drums to, you know, just a really tight kit. Use this on drum loops. All sorts of stuff. So you go through all this trouble. Obviously, you're going to want to save this as a sound. So let's look at what we did. I actually just even went in a step further. And we'll load up Group B. Let's come to some of my custom kits here. I made Matt's crazy container drums. Let's take a look at actually what's going on here. Open up Guitar Rig. Remember, you can open it up from the controller. I absolutely love this. So what did I do here? Well, I also grabbed the Rezo Chord. You know this from an effect in Machine. You can use this now inside of uh, Guitar Rig. What else did I do? I went to the new Control Room Pro. Look at this. You can set up your own custom mixer channel chain. Oh, so let's use, you know, whatever kind of cabinet you want with whatever kind of mic you want where exactly you want the mic, how far, how much room position, how far away from the speaker grill, what level, mixing, panning, all this good stuff. Uh, absolutely amazing. So use it on drums. We can get like a cool filtered type of effect. You can see I got a couple of things. I got the new vintage compressors. This is available in Complete 8 Ultimate. Absolutely amazing. So here's like a uh, 1176 model. And uh, as you can see, I already mapped it out. So you can just kind of start performing. So you can see, once you do that, set it up, save it as a whole effect chain, create your big old crazy drums, however you want to do it. But Guitar Rig is absolutely amazing. The new one with the new container. I mean, forget about it. You want to get some stupid effects on your stuff, you got to get that Guitar Rig 5. So thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of this. Take care. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.